Anton LaVey is a recluse who grants no interviews and makes no public pronouncements. The affairs of the Church of Satan are, are overseen by two people, his daughter, Zena LaVey, and Mr. Nicholas Schreck, founder of the Werewolf Order of Satanism. Zena LaVey and Nicholas Schreck are the chief spokespersons for the Church of Satan, and they are the two people you will see me confront during this video. Whether or not you believe in a literal devil, you should be concerned about the plans of LaVey and Shrek to establish a satanically ruled society. This interview was not a debate with my countering the viewpoint put forth by the Church of Satan. The purpose of this video was to divulge information regarding the agenda of the Church of Satan, facts that until now have been cloaked in rumor and contradiction. Um, Jane Mansfield. Was Jane Mansfield a follower and or a lover of your father? Yes, she was a member of the Church of Satan. I will not discuss my father's private life because I don't think it's anybody's business. the connection with Marilyn Monroe? That was an affair that the two of them had when they were both very young and were relatively unknown. It just so happened that both of their lives took a, off in a direction that, you know, garnered some fame. But mm -hmm. um, at the time that they had this affair, they were both very young, late teens, early 20s. Sammy Davis Jr. He's been pictured uh, right. worshiping on one of your father's altars, wearing a pentagram. Mm -hmm. Was he at a time a follower of the church? At a time, yes. as well because of for, for whom for example whom well because of the recent hysteria we've seen I'm not going to put their there are, there are people in every in field of endeavor in architecture well, science well, excuse, excuse oh, me but why you, 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 you see you, you blame it on hysteria but in fact uh, if, if they're a follower of Satan uh, should they not be willing to step forward and say so? I mean... Well, oh, that's what we're embarking on now. Well, we what the 90s Marxist. are going to see is a massive rise of Satanism. People are going to come out of the shadows and reveal themselves as thoroughgoing Satanists. Because what we're seeing now is the death struggle between the Judeo-Christian idea and archetype and the more ancient Satanic archetype. We feel that the best way to change the world into a satanic arena is by having strong individuals in different areas do their own individual work. So by joining the Church of Satan, you enter into the possibility of going into the higher echelons of the Church of Satan. But if you join a, a Christian... What's been happening to Nicholas Schreck since the last time we met? Well, we're entering phase two of Radio Werewolf's operation for world dominion and what we're waging is a cultural war right now on every front in music in literature utilizing the media against itself um, what we're trying to do is bring back a resurgence of the western european tradition that has been all but lost in the world and we're using music because that's the that's the instrument that young people respond to right now we're doing propaganda directly to awaken the wolf in man because the wolf is a symbol of western european power and fury and that's why we use the werewolf imagery 
I understand you're talking about the evolution of this, that uh, your music is getting more into the political... Well, our, our music, well I wouldn't say political, because no. we transcend politics. Politics is merely the puppet show of human beings, and we transcend that. But we are interested in the control of human beings for our own purposes. Music of today is absolute swill. It's designed to keep young people passive, restrained, and it's designed to tame them and keep them into sort of domestic sheep. I would separate young people today into two breeds. There's predators, which are the wolves, and there are the sheep, and that's most of them. And we appeal to an elite. We are, frankly, an elitist organization. We seek a few excellent people. We don't want a lot of dross. We don't want a lot of mediocre followers. What we want are people who are capable of action. Do you see uh, a, a lot of, uh, do you see some elements of what you're talking about in other music that's... I think the skinhead movement is a very positive step away from the decadence of the rock and drug culture that has dominated the youth so much. But as Adolf Hitler said, we seek to bring about a youth that has closed its heart to pity. All of the humanist values that Judeo-Christianity has encouraged, we want to wipe them out. It's led to democracy, social humanism, the idea of equality. All of this filth has to be wiped out if the human race is going to continue to take the next step in evolution. What do you believe that that would be like in, uh, if you were in, in control as well, far we, as your we, attitudes towards your own people? Well, we are in control because basically we are not a political organization. We are are an occult organization. We're working behind the scenes to manipulate the way that people think. The war that we are waging is a guerrilla war on the human mind. And we use musical frequencies, the dominant frequency, which I've referred to before, and symbolism and imagery to awaken dormant aspects of the human mind. is a guerrilla war on the human mind and we use musical frequencies the dominant frequency which I've referred to before and symbolism and imagery to awaken dormant aspects of the human mind Satan Lucifer I command thee to come forth to come forth and bestow these blessings of hell upon us Hail Satan Hail Satan the Church of Satan has chosen Satan as its primary symbol because in Hebrew it means adversary, opposer, one to accuse or question. And we see ourselves as being the Satans, the adversaries, opposers and accusers of all spiritual belief systems that would try to hamper enjoyment of our life as a human being. Founded in San Francisco, California by Anton LaVey in 1966, the Church of Satan sees belief in God or hell as delusional, and so they choose to practice self-reliance and self-worship. This is a very selfish religion. We believe in greed, we believe in selfishness, we believe in all of the lustful thoughts that motivate man because this is man's natural uh, feeling. If you're going to be a sinner, be the best sinner on the block. You're going to do something that's uh, naughty, do it. And realize that you're doing something naughty and enjoy it.